In this video, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the select command again. And the purpose of this is we're going to start looking at getting into queries, or basically pulling data, or select data, out of a table that we actually want to see, and in the, res in the way or the fashion that I want it to, to be displayed. And so I've already done the select command before, where we've done the select asterisk, and what that allowed us to do, um, and we're going to go ahead and do this from the books table that I've created already. We can pull out all of the information from my tables this way. And maybe you want to pull out a specific or only partial amount of data. So we're going to show you how to do that real quick. First thing I want to do is I'm going to limit, instead of using the asterisk, what I want to do is only pull out the categories that I want to see. For instance, the title and the price. And so I'm going to go ahead and replace that asterisk with title, comma, price. And so now what is going to happen is when I run this, you're going to see that it only pulls off the title and the price. So I'm beginning to pull out the information that's just most, most relevant to what I'm looking for. And now I can go ahead, if I really wanted to, I can rearrange them. New price, title, from books. And I'll go ahead and run that. And you'll notice that I can arrange the columns in any fashion that I want based on my select command that I've got here to work with. And so you can see that I've got price and title. Now the question is going to be, well, what happens if I want it to only show data of books that are $14.99? So now I'm getting more specific. Okay, in order for that to happen, what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that semicolon. I'm going to extend the select command by using the where option. And so this is going to be a conditional statement that we're going to add to this to make it so that it only has the specific condition. So I'm going to get real specific here and I'm going to say where price is equal to $14.99. Now I do not have single quotes around $14.99 because it is a number that I'm working with. If it had text in it then I would want to have single quotes around price. And so I'll end that with a semicolon and I'm going to go ahead and run this again and you're going to see here now only the books that are $14.99 are actually going to show up. And so this is using the equal sign. Now if I wanted to change it up, let's just go ahead and say less than $14.99. I can go ahead and hit run. And you're going to see that only the books that show up are the ones that are less than $14.99. And if I wanted to do greater than $14.99, of course I could do that as well. So I've got these different options that we're working with that are going to allow me to do this. Now what if I wanted to see all the books that were not $14.99? 99. There are a couple ways of doing that. I can use the exclamation point equals and I can go ahead and hit run and you're going to see it's going to show me every book that is not $14.99. I can also use the keyword not and run this and I actually typed in the wrong syntax here. I should have typed in where not price there we go, is equal to $14.99. And we'll go ahead and hit run. And you'll see that it does the same results as the asterisk or the exclamation point in equals. So this is the correct syntax for this, where not price equals $14.99. And so these are the different ways that I can actually get more specific and only view the data that I'm interested in. And this is querying information out of a database using the select command.